Welcome back, all you Iced GT gamers. This is Iced GT coming to you not from Southern California as usual, but from a hotel room in Ohio. In today's video, we're going to be starting a new series on upcoming games in the year 2019, why I want to play them, and why I think you're going to want to play them too. First up in the action adventure genre is Kingdom Hearts 3, the mashup between Square Enix's Final Fantasy series and Disney. It's been nearly 13 years since the last Kingdom Hearts game came out on anything other than a mobile platform. Fans have been clamoring for a sequel for years, and they are finally going to release it in early 2019. The game has been pushed back and delayed many, many times. Fortunately, Square Enix is a big enough studio that they can afford to have the publisher wait until they've got the game as perfect as they want it. It features the same main characters from the original Kingdom Hearts and Kingdom Hearts 2, as well as Donald and Goofy as your backup characters, set in a number of Disney and Final Fantasy worlds. This newest game promises to add new IP worlds from Disney such as Big Hero 6, Frozen, and Pirates of the Caribbean, as well as Toy Story and Monsters, Inc. University. Square Enix and Disney managed to collaborate to get a bunch of the original voice actors from their new intellectual properties to revoice the characters that are going to be in the video game, such as all the main characters from Frozen, all the main characters from Big Hero 6, and Flynn Rider from the Tangled movie. I was a huge fan of Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 and played them religiously, got my characters all the way up to level 99 and beat every single boss, including the hidden ones. I can't wait for this one to come out. Based on the previews, it looks amazing, and I think you're going to want to play this one too. The next game in the genre I'd like to discuss is the game called Control by the studio Remedy. It's an action-adventure horror game where the main character inherits supernatural powers and needs to go into the Federal Bureau of Control building, known as the Oldest House, and defeat an unknown force known as the Hiss, which takes over human bodies and causes them to attack you. This game is incredibly creepy, with bodies that float in the air, walls that change, rituals that you perform that transport you to other places. Even though the whole game takes place inside of one building, because you have the ability to transport to these other locations, almost other dimensions, the developers refer to the building as a world within a location. It looks deliciously creepy and I can't wait to play it. Next on the list is one that calls up a little bit of nostalgia for those of us who've been around for a few years. The maker of some of the original Castlevania games from the 90s has done a Kickstarter campaign to produce a game called Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. It's been done in the classic 2D side-scrolling style, but all of the art in the game is done using 3D animation, just from a fixed camera point perpendicular to the action. It really harkens back to the old side-scroller Castlevania games, has a very dark and gothic feel to it, and based on the unique 2D perspective, offers up interesting avenues of gameplay that aren't possible in your traditional 3D platformer. I loved the original Castlevania games in my childhood and can't wait to see this one next year. Next up on the list of action platformers is one for the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo is going to be coming out with the next game in the Luigi's Mansion series, tentatively titled Luigi's Mansion 3. Think of Luigi's Mansion as like Ghostbusters, except with a flashlight and a vacuum cleaner. And instead of ghosts, you're going up against booze. It looks fun and quirky, and I was a huge fan of Super Mario Odyssey, so I can't wait to see this one come to fruition. Also on the Switch is Daemon X Machina. This is an action-adventure mech shooter game that reminds me very much of the Zone of the Enders series for the PlayStation. There are certainly elements of combat based on the footage we've seen so far that remind me as well of Gundam. And the art style is very much akin to that you see in an anime series. The last video I'd like to discuss in today's video is that of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Respawn Entertainment, an LA-based development company, is going to be coming out with a new Star Wars game in holiday 2019. It's going to be set between episodes 3 and 4 and focusing on the fallout from Order 66. 
While we don't have any gameplay footage yet, EA did put out a video two years ago that contained a clip showing Respawn doing motion capture for two lightsaber wielding combatants, one with a blue lightsaber and one with a red. Because this is just motion capture footage, it's unclear as to whether the red lightsaber is going to be a Sith or is going to be an Inquisitor. But at E3, it was hinted that the main character is going to be able to wield a lightsaber. So I can't wait to see what kind of game this is going to turn out to be. I certainly hope that it's an action platformer in the style of Knights of the Old Republic. That's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you like this content and you want to see more of it, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. If you disliked it, feel free to hit a dislike down below. And as always, feel free to leave me a comment, positive or negative, I'd love to hear your feedback. Until next time, this is IceGT signing off. Have a great night.